one a little. So after about 15 minutes of stuffing around with this gimbal, <laughs> it's finally pointing the right way and everything's working. Perfect. What's up? It is Saturday, I just finished work and I'm in King George Square where I was in the start of the video from the other day, but now it's full of people doing people stuff. All that stuff that people do. And uh, the lights are on the tree now, so I'm gonna go up the top where I was before, except for the fact that there's a band up there now. Which might mean I can't get up there, but yeah, there's like a full on brass band, but at the moment it's just a couple of kids with uh, acoustic guitars. So this is like the um, like Moonlight Markets. It's, uh, usually it's like craft stuff with like a little bit of food and that. Um, I'm not really interested in that. I just want to get a good shot of this Christmas tree. And then I want to tell you a story about something that happened today. super impressive because it's all like light out. I swear. Oh, it's because I'm holding it wicked. Anyway, like I was saying, it's not super dark out yet, so it's not very impressive. What I'll do is I'll go a little bit away from this music and I'll tell you the story of how Jared became a man. Uh, and then I'll come back when the, uh, it's not so bright out. It's probably a good idea. Alright, well I don't know how much quieter this is really going to be because I'm standing next to a three lane road anyway, but the story goes like this. I, uh, I've been working in my current job now for 10 years. Um, I think I actually, I've said in my, uh, a blog before that um, I've decided that 10 years was enough years and um, tonight was a night that I thought would be a good idea because it was pretty quiet and whatnot to speak to my boss and let him know and uh he don't think it so well <laughs> he, uh, he uh yeah it's like i broke up with him or something but um uh he did exactly what i thought he was gonna do which is try and offer me more money because uh your boy is such a talented swiss army knife of a man that uh it'll be a little bit hard to replace us and i don't uh that's not my words obviously, that's his words, but I don't disagree with him in that and there's a lot of stuff that I've picked up and there's a lot of stuff that I've taught myself to do in the course of that 10 years um, where I can understand that it's going to be hard for me to um, be replaced. But at the same time, you're giving somebody else a chance to do exactly what I've done right and to, uh, to better themselves through, you know, experience and that kind of thing. Although, to be honest, I said to him he should, because he always, he always hires pretty young girls who can't do shit. so I said to him he, sh he does need to get another guy and this time he needs to hire somebody that's already experienced because I had never done medical reception work when I started working there and I've, I've, learned, I've learned everything I know about medicine and about travel vaccinations and that kind of stuff, I've learned that on the job. So it would be nice to have somebody who had already done this kind of work be able to go and slot in there quickly. In, in, in a professional sense, I mean. In terms of uh, personality-wise, um, I think with the rest of the admin staff and the, uh, you know, whatever you call them, auxiliary stuff, the nurses and that kind of stuff, I think that would be okay. The doctors, on the other hand, I mean, those of you that work with doctors, um, I guess, Amantha, you probably work with doctors at the uh, at the old lock up there um, some of the biggest egos and uh, that can be a little bit difficult to work with but that's why I say if they get somebody who has experience then they'll be much better off for it so you know what are you gonna do <laughs> he's already tried to because I said oh look I'll be finishing in like February you know stretch it out to March if possible he's trying to get me to stay till September <laughs> so he also said to me, you're lucky 
you know, we could, if you're not happy with the money, we could put the money up, but you're already on a pretty high rate. Compared to grocery baggers in the States, yeah, but I'm on like 22, 22 bucks, 22.70, something like that, which for the amount of time I've been there and for the amount of work that I do there, to say that's a high rate is a little bit laughable. This is not really about the money, it's about moving back to New Zealand and being a little bit closer to my family and stuff, so I don't think it really got that point. I don't, I don't know. But anyway, so now we've got uh, now we've got next week to look forward to where he's going to he's going to negotiate for me the terms of my leaving with Simone, which was uh, hilarious. But anyway, it's a little bit dark now. Let's go have a look at that stupid tree. for my anxiety so uh, I'm just gonna make my way back to the bus but I'll do so with this Christmas tree in the background <laughs> So I guess that means if the lights are on there now, then it, we're not too far away from there being uh, um, the Christmas parade. Yeah, that just shuts down the mall for like a week, every day at like four o'clock or something. Uh, I'm sorry, yeah, just bumping into people, and then you can't you can't get out. You either got to leave work early or like commit to standing around. <laughs> So that was my big uh, that was my big news of the day. Finally, everybody's all on board with the same thing. Everybody knows that I'm going. Guess now it's just time to see when they let me go. I've never never heard of anybody um, not being allowed to quit their job. It seems ridiculous to me, but like, no, he's probably still up there. Up, right up there is the uh, the doctor's clinic, and uh, guaranteed he's still up there trying to figure out how much money he can give me to stay. Anyway, uh, I really have too much going on. I suppose then, um, when the actual Christmas parade thing starts up, then I will come out and I'll you know show you that, but. Yeah, you know, that's a parade. Once you've seen, once you've seen one parade, you've seen them all. Plus, it won't be as cool as the one that was on Anzac Day when they had all the like the, you know, riflemen and all that thing. That was cool. But if you want to see some camels and stuff, we can do that. We could do that. Anyway, God bless. Look after each other, and I will see you in the next video, which will probably have camels in it.